doing today? I really hope you had a lovely week. Let's close our eyes and fold our hands to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you very much for today. Thank you that we have another Sunday where we can gather and listen to your word being taught to us. We pray that you help us to understand our Bible lesson for today and you help us to obey whatever we are taught today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our song for today reminds us that as children of God, we are all in the Lord's army. Are you guys in the Lord's army? I'm in the Lord's army. All right, let's sing the song together. Hello everybody and welcome to Good Morning Jerusalem. So as promised, I have a special and wonderful guest in the studio today, right here and right now. He's done a lot for the people of Judah. He is none other than the son of Asa, King Jehoshaphat. Good morning everyone and thank you for having me on the show. Thank you so much for gracing our studio with your wonderful presence. So we just want to learn a little bit more about you and your leadership style. Were you perhaps inspired by your father, King Asa? Most definitely. My father's been very faithful to God and he raised me that way, in a godly way. So much so that I decided to destroy the shrines of the God of Asherah and command that my kingdom be taught in the ways of God. That is so awesome. So we've had a lot of people writing, it, writing into the studio and they want to know more about your miraculous victory on the battlefield the other day. Your one army coming up against three powerful armies, the armies of the Moabites, the Ammonites and the Edomites. How did you manage to vanquish them all? Well, I wish I could take all the credit, but I really owe it all to God. I would have led my army straight to their deaths if I had not first sought the face of God. So I decided to have a national fast. And as we were praying, worshiping God outside God's holy temple, the spirit of the Lord came down to us. And a prophet, Jehaziel, stood up and said, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged by these vast armies, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Wow, that is so awesome. The battle is not yours, but God's. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so exciting. And, and then what happened next? I encouraged the people to trust in God. I told my musicians to put on their most sacred robes and to lead our armies in praise and worship as we marched to the battlefield. There's definitely power in corporate prayer and even corporate praise. So that must have been an amazing sight to see. Better believe it. And who would have thought our praise and worship to God would confuse the three armies and cause them to wipe each other out? By the time we got to the battlefield, they had destroyed each other. This just shows the wonder of the God we serve. Wow, God is indeed powerful. So basically what we can learn from your experience is one, always seek the face of God first in no matter what challenges you face. Two, we must put our trust in God 
and do what he says, even when we don't understand it. If he tells us to praise him, we should praise him. If he tells us to wait, we should wait. This is awesome. And lastly, that God always comes through That's for right. his children. Wow. That is an, those are amazing lessons to learn. So folks, you heard it from the horse's mouth right here. But if you want more information about King Jehoshaphat's miraculous victory, please read the second book of Chronicles, chapter 21 to 30. So it's bye from us in the studio. Bye for now. Bye for now. It's now time for us to learn our members. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Our verse from today comes from Jeremiah 29 verse 12. So I want you guys to repeat after me. Then you will call upon me. Then you will call upon me. And come and pray to me. And come and pray to me. And I will listen to you. And I will listen to you. Alright, so we're gonna say that one more time. Can you can you tell us where it's from? So repeat after me. Then you will call upon me. Then you will call upon me. And come and pray to me. And come and pray to me. And I will listen to you. And I will listen to you. So continue learning the verse and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. It's activity time. Remember, you can go onto our website shown right here and print out the activity. Ask your mom and dad to help you. So you can color and do the worksheets. And once you're done, you can send them to our contact details shown right here. And we'll have them featured in future episodes. If you're between the age of four and six years old, this is the activity for you for today. It's about King Jehoshaphat. So you guys can color in the sheet. If you're between the age of seven and nine years old, this is the worksheet for you guys today. It has a very cool join the dots at the bottom. So I hope you guys have a good time. If you're between the ages of 10 and 13 years old, this is the worksheet for you guys to do. It has a very good job list for Jehoshaphat for you guys to do. Enjoy our well, now come to the end of our service. See you all next week. Bye! Hi, Sunday School. So let us pray. God, I thank you for helping us this day. I thank you for bringing plants and animals to this world, God. And I ask you, God, to help all those people out there, even though they're rich, even though they're poor. God, please help them to live a healthy and very good life, God. And help us, help us so that we can go through this disease, God. Help us to do the best we can and help all the people in the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye.